This is Struggling to Succeed. In this episode, we're going to discuss a supplement from Bulletproof, Unfair Advantage. For the last couple of years, if not a little bit longer, I have been a fan of Bulletproof and their products and also the coffee that Dave Asprey came up with, Bulletproof Coffee, with the MCT oil and the grass-fed butter. I also kind of follow the uh, diet and the Bulletproof diets, kind of a keto, paleo kind of crossover diet, which I kind of try to follow. And I've also bought a number of other products from his his line of supplements and proteins and collagens and bars. So I'm a bit of a, a Bulletproof fan. And this brought me round to giving this supplement unfair advantage a go. Does it work? And most importantly in all, of all, sorry, is it worth it? Before diving into my own personal review of the product, let's actually look at it and discuss what it is. Well, this is the, this is the box it came in, the Bulletproof box. It's an unfair advantage here, and it, they come in these uh, cool little sachets that, that come out like this, and you get little, these little bullets that you uh, get the product in. I've got one actually already out just to the side here. This little cool little sachet kind of little tube that you squeeze into your mouth, which is pretty cool. Uh, this costs about $60, uh, if I'm right, yeah, $59.95, just checking my notes to the side there. $59.95 that costs US. So by the time I order it and get the uh, the taxes and the shipping and transfers and everything else up from the, uh, the US exchange rate, it's around about $75, $80 for me, uh, Canadian. Uh, so I, I ordered it a few months back and maybe a little bit longer and have been trying it at different times in my day to see whether it works. Now, what is in this? Well, I was quite surprised when I got it. I mean, I, I don't, I just purchased it I didn't, and I didn't like really check it out on bulletproof.com. But when I got it, I actually noticed that 300 milligrams, which is pretty much the whole vial, is just MCT. It's a medium chain, chain triglycerides. And it's got uh, something in it called CQ10, 20 milligrams of that, and something else called PQQ, 10 milligrams. Now, I haven't gone online to research that stuff because uh, if you've watched some of my other reviews, I'm not really diving deep into the science behind these products. I'm just testing to see whether they work for me. I have no idea what PQQ is or what C0 or COQ10 is. I, I, I don't know and I don't really care. Uh, you know, it, it's not something that, I, that I'm really focusing on, but I was kind of surprised when I first got it that it just pretty much looked like a full shot of MCT. So I decided to give it a go over the last few months and it, it, it works and it doesn't work. With this product, I might as well start at the beginning. When you take it out of the packaging, you get one of these. It recommends that you take uh, one to two for like a little bit of power up or two to four for a super power up. And I start off by trying one or two at a time. And what I find first part of my review was the taste is a little unique. Not everybody's going to love it. I thought it was okay. It was a little, what, what the F is that when I put it in my mouth, but it wasn't so bad that I was gagging. So that, that was okay. I could get over that. Uh, but what I find is a struggle is this. This is two of my more recent vials to kept for this review. There is probably about an eighth, I would say, less. And that was actually, uh, or, or less, left in there. And that's actually after a good number of squeezes. I've really had a hard go at those to get that out. And I still feel like uh, part of the product that I've paid $80 for for 30 capsules um, and if you're doing two to four capsules at a time, that's quite a lot. And when you look at those vials and you think about how much is left in there, you can't help but think that by the time you go through the 30 of them, there's probably one or one, if not two vials worth of product left in there. So that was my first initial uh, sort of points that I realized while using this product. I was like, first of all, the taste isn't fantastic. Second of all, kind of felt a little bit pissed off that I was struggling to get a lot of the product out of the vial. Now, did it work for me? Well, I already do the MCT oil and the coffee and I take other nootropics in the morning. So I didn't take this product first thing in the morning like other people have when I did a little bit of review online. I decided to use it at night time because it said on the packaging that it uh, helps with my mitochondria, it helps uh, you know the raw materials for that to 
to repair and also it doesn't give you the jitters of coffee and I know that I can take MCT oil later in the day and I still can't sleep so I definitely wanted to use this in my evenings and that's what I did with these little vials when I was coming home after work and I wanted to get some stuff done and I didn't want to have a cup of coffee and I wanted to get a little bit of energy I was popping these in. Now my first sort of instinct or my first uh, impression of them was that they work. I definitely felt something uh, when I was taking uh, two and my first goes and I've tried taking four at one point as well. They definitely give me that initial pretty instantly you know very very quick turnaround they give me a bit of a surge and I thought wow this product is awesome I'm, I'm really going to enjoy this this is going to be great I'm going to find this very useful coming home after work and wanting to jump back into something else and really get some stuff done however this is where my review is going to start turning a little negative this shit made me angry this product and doing these vials actually shortened my temper. I got jazzed up on it. After about the first five or 10 minutes, I found that I reacted sort of angrily or I was quick to temper after taking these. And I noticed that when I was working on my projects and I would get a little frustrated at my camera set up here in my little studio or I was doing something on my on my Mac, that I would just get, I'd be, quicker than normal for me to get a little frustrated and you know push the mouse away or get a bit annoyed or, or, or say something negative to somebody else in the room and, I, and I'm a bit of an angry kind of guy anyway and I do a lot of meditation and I, I watch I don't do it I hardly drink anymore because I don't like that kind of that short-tempered kind of guy that's been in there for a long time I don't like him coming out and I find this product actually brought that guy out a little bit. This product jazzed me up. Now that might not be the same for everybody who tries it. That's just my own personal experience. We're all different. So 300 plus people might say this product's awesome and 50 odd other people might be like, no, it's terrible. I'm kind of in the middle. You know, I, I, I kind of feel like, yeah, it's got its uses, but I don't like the edginess that comes with it. And another time that I tried it was when playing sports. I tried it in between uh, halves or when I was you know, on the bench and rotating on and off playing soccer or football. And I actually took it a couple of times during that time to try to bring mental freshness. You know, body's tired, but let's bring mental freshness. And the same thing happened. I thought maybe because I was already uh, up and energized and heart pumping that it wouldn't actually turn me to anger that it would just sort of bring freshness to my mind but I actually found once again when I took it in that kind of like competitive uh, zone that after I took a vial and you know running around the pitch you know next time I got into a little bit of an altercation I, I did find that I was quick to kind of like get pissed off and, and, and uh, rather than having my stoic approach of kind of laughing it off and, and, and moving on I just sort of got a little bit more annoyed and was quick to say something back. So I, I really did slow down taking this product after my first sort of few months or, or month of, of giving it a go. And in fact, what's left in this box has been sitting in my fridge uh, for a while now, and I decided to do a, a review on it. And yeah, I, 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 don't, I have mixed feelings about the product, to be honest. I will say one huge positive that I did find with this product. When I did take it and I got into the flow of doing something and everything was working for me, I found it really useful. I find that I was connecting my words and I was able to, to, to bring my ideas together and I was able to work more uh, fluently. And that is helpful. However, I do think it comes without those negative side effects in my body system and, and reacts differently with me, maybe to other people. But I can definitely see why people really like it. It does bring a freshness to your mind. It does sort of light you up and it does get you going. My point would be it's $80 for me to purchase 30 capsules. And I would argue now, Dave Asprey might argue back at me and, and, and science me, or there might be people out in the world that can leave comments in this video and tell me what, what I'm wrong, where I'm wrong and what I'm doing wrong with it. Or, But however, I honestly think that I could get the same results just doing a shot of MCT oil. And I have a big carton of brain octane oil from Bulletproof 
uh, in my in my kitchen. And I honestly think that having a shot of MCT and a pint of water kind of gives me the same feeling because I have done that before with the MCT. This, I know he's got extra things in here, the PPQ active. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, I, I do think it works. I, I do think it is useful. If, if it works for you, that's fantastic. I, I'm not going to highly recommend this or even recommend it. I, I just want to put out my review and, and, and see what you think. I didn't love it. I, I'm probably not going to buy another package of it. It just It's not something that I think is worth $80, 30 capsules. If it was worth 40 Canadian dollars, I could possibly see myself wanting to repurchase it and have it in my fridge. But at $80, I would more rather buy some nootropics or other supplements that I actually find very, very useful rather than investing in something that I just find okay. That's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along and get lots more content on my struggling to succeed journey. My mission here is to deliver you guys bite-sized videos that can hopefully help you start your journey of success. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And as always, make it a good one.